Hello everyone to a quick Mine Colonies guide and today we will talk about how to make world generated structure packs for Mine Colonies. So specifically how will you get your custom colony type show up in the Mine Colonies world gen. So we did some recent changes to that to make this much easier for you and in this little guide we're gonna talk specifically about that. So the most important piece of all of this are the jigsaw blocks of Minecraft. You can easily get them with the gif command. If to you, write the jigsaw and you will get the jigsaw block. Now these jigsaw blocks you want to put in the buildings that you want to be well generated. Usually we tend to do a small selection of buildings like town hall level one, uh, the builder one and two, citizen hut, etc. Let's do a quick guide on this. So first of all, we will place the jigsaw block such that the arrow points out away from the building in all the entrances. So this is a three by three, so put, we put it in the middle. The same on the other side, we put that on the middle, always at the outermost corner of the building. And we can do that same over here, where we have the main entrance here. Oopsie, and uh, we killed that plant. We said we're gonna do the same thing with the builder here as well. Then we do the same thing with the citizen hut. Let me just quickly check where we did in higher levels the road leaving, and that is all next to the building here. Okay. And that is a two by two road in this way. So we're gonna do two of them. You see, the arrow points out. Same thing on the other side. It's usually good to have the buildings on several sides. Here we go. Uh, level one and level two. Let's do one more building. That's the minor. We usually do just one of the levels. Again, we check in the higher levels where the doors are gonna be in the future. So there's only one door, is there? Or are there two doors? Two doors on these two sides. Let's see, level five is it closed. Could actually have mo even more connection. Well, let's do the two main doors, which are the entrance way that are one, two, three, four from the outermost area. Ooh, all the way back. Ah, here we can already see the corridor as well. Pointing outwards the arrow again. And the same thing here. Now, just the buildings are not enough. Because what is going to connect these buildings? And that's the answer is quite straightforward. And that is um, plazas and streets. So let's go to some basic streets here. Let's select um, this one here. That's some good basic street to start from. So again, we point outwards. Now, these here are going to be connections to other street elements. If we want to connect to buildings, we need this kind of thing and then write building in, and that's it. If you reopen, you're going to see Minecraft building, but it's okay. And this will basically then make that here, we will generate additional roads, and here we will generate buildings. Um, we can do the same thing. Let's do a little bit offset to make it more interesting, like this, for example. And again, you write in building, done, building, done, and we go over here. So that is an interconnection. Let's make that only for the um, streets. Um, we can even have those stairs. Nah, stairs usually don't work very well. And this seems like a corner. So let's do here in the... And here and here. And here we're going to put building as well. See? And that's the first step. Let's go also to a plaza over here. That's going to be, an, we can make that here a normal street one again. So we don't have to write anything in. So street. And that is a plaza. And we're going to be three sides of the plaza. Oopsie. Three, two sides of the plaza are going to be for streets. And one side is going to be here for building again. And this side is going to be also for street. Um, well, actually, let's, let's make two for building the two sides. Um, after you have done that, 
you usually want to scan it in. So the easiest thing would be just you scan it in one corner, you choose a other corner over here, and you can see we have scanned it in properly. And then you want to get yourself a GIF command block. Place the command block down. Mitchell mouse button on the command block. Oops, we need to call this. This is specifically Lost City Part 1. Okay. Close this with exit again. Middle mouse click with shift. And we have that command in here. So you also see it's very important that this name of the style pack is here. And all we're going to have to change here then is call this here Mine Colonies. Okay, click done. We get a button. And call this here. And as you can see, it will have saved to the local scan folder of me a Lost City Part 1 blueprint, but also the NBT file for the styles. You want to do that with all your street decorations and all the buildings you want to include in the pack. And then you would optimally create something as we have down here. Let me quickly dive under the world all the way down here. Choop, 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 where we have all the buildings you can see. Game mode creative and here you have these also set up but very importantly you want to have here set up lost city okay that is very important and call this here my colonies okay so let's go up again now there is a small element let's left to this and that is the json file editing now yes yeah, there are no json files please no we made it quite easy for you to handle that uh, as easily as possible without other things. And you can find in the download description also the link to what I'm going to show you next. So let's open up our folder here. And I have here the World Gen Colonies data pack. This is what you're going to also find. Let's zoom in a little bit. First of all, you got the pack.meta in here, which you want to open up with your favorite editor. And then give it some description. Okay, depending on the Minecraft version, you also want to edit this, but that will not cause you any issues. Then we dive in here, data, mine colonies, and we first start first with the tags. Tags, world gen, biome, has structure. And there where you see type, everywhere when you're going to see type, you will put the name of uh, what, we, what you have in the folder description. So in this case, it would be uh, renamed to lost city underlying colony.json okay and uh, we opened this and what you can see here are all kinds of tags for which bio biomes this is in and i will also put a link in the description to all the minecraft biomes so that you can choose which one to get comma separated in here the ones with hash are tags which you can also find probably under the link i hope so next step we go out of this again back to my colonies and then we go structures structures type again you would re rename this here to a lost city uh, and in here you would drop all the nbt files that you have scanned in earlier we go up the way again and then we have world gen now here it gets a little bit more complex so stay with me first we have a structure set so again here you put the pack name in so that would be something like some structures, my structure will gen, etc. Then you would go again into it. And here again, it would then be lostcity.colony, okay? That's all you have to do. If you have multiple different packs, you can add the comma separated list here as well. Discard, I don't want to save this. I want to give you guys a clean slide. Uh, we go up again um, and the template pool next. So in the template pool, again, as always, type is the most city, and you have then buildings and roads. So depending on which one it is, let's go in here quickly. You then have a comma separated list of all of the different huts there are with a different weight. So usually you want to have a much higher chance to get a low level builder than a high level builder, and a much higher level chance to have a builder 
rather than a let's see warehouse for example or tavern or a mine um, and the same thing you're gonna have also in the road sets all the different role elements you're gonna scan in you're gonna give it here the right name and where it says type you're gonna put lost city your specific type not specific lost city then after the template tool we go we had the structure set we already had now the structure set you're also going to name we already had oh, wait the structure you call then with a lost city underlined colony and here all you have to do is write in here the type again like lost city you can also do things like making things them slightly larger making them slightly bigger and add some animal spawns to it which i highly encourage you to not do uh, discard again we go back up to world gen and we finally come to the processor list which you can either leave as is already or like again where it says type we have to edit you can then have different things have different processor lists um, which are things like rip random block replacements usually the only thing that i would touch personally is the street one if you have some street decorations with different blocks you want to randomly replace and specifically the placeholder one where you want to replace some things and that is specifically like oak logs oak planks and oak stairs and spruce stairs with the specific blocks you would encounter in the actual biome in your actual style so in a spruce style that would be spruce logs in a oh dark oak style dark oak logs dark oak planks etc and that's practi practically it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick little guide. And you can find us on Patreon, on Twitch, on Twitter, and obviously on Discord. And all the links are right in the description. See you guys.